a fundamental expectation and requirement that all of the scientific data delivered by analytical testing laboratories is both reliable and trustworthy. When the results of laboratory testing are used to make decisions concerning the health and safety of individuals, the quality of the environment, the detection of crime and prosecution of offenders, the reliability and trustworthiness of those results is of critical importance. In the heavy regulated pharmaceutical and healthcare sector, the integrity of laboratory quality control testing has attracted considerable regulatory scrutiny since the ABLE laboratory scandal in 2005. ABLE Laboratories was a generic drug manufacturer based in Cranberry, New Jersey. During a FDA site inspection in 2005, the quality control laboratory at ABRO Laboratories were found to have routinely resampled, re-injected, or reprocessed samples of drug products during quality control. QC testing when out of specification, OOS, results were obtained. ABLE Laboratories failed to report any of these OOS results, which were replaced by results conforming to specification. This company also failed to maintain any records to explain the reprocessing or reinjection of samples that gave OOS results. ABLE Laboratories failed to document complete information associated with analytical testing, chromatographs, and data processing methods. ABLE Laboratories manipulated laboratory results by cutting and pasting chromatogram headers and changing the record of injection sequences. ABLE Laboratories manipulated sample weights used to calculate assay results until a passing result was obtained and the original sample weights were discarded. ABLE Laboratories manipulated chromatographic data processing methods were changed until a processing method produced a passing result. It is important to note that these activities only came to light on the examination of electronic records and were not apparent from the signed paper records. In this final part of the course, we will look at some of the steps that can be taken to identify unreliable and untrustworthy third-party data. We will do this using a fictitious sequence of high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, data as an example. This part of the course will also be of value to laboratory staff and supervisors as it illustrates the points to review when assuring the integrity of laboratory data. Now it's time to take the final assessment. This assessment will consist of 10 multiple choice questions. You will have three attempts to pass this assessment. To pass this assessment, you will need a score of 80% or above. A certificate of successful completion will be issued if you pass the assessment. Best of luck and keep learning.